What's up guys, it's your boy Samatoshi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a three-step price action trading strategy that only the top 5% of traders know. So watch this video from A to Z so as to understand how this particular strategy works. With that being said, let's head straight to today's video. Yeah, welcome back guys so if you're new to this youtube channel do well to hit the subscribe button turn on post notification to get notified whenever i'm dropping new forex related videos like this so um guys first of all you need to identify the train yeah first of all and this is not um actually part of the step but this is actually part of the process here yeah. first of all you need to trade with the train and not against the train yeah so this is it now from this chart now i see you know it, before a train must be valid like for a trend line to be valid it must has have at least two peaks or two troughs so i see a, a peak here and something else here so now i've seen a two peak here but if you should go to because this is the daily time frame if you should go to the weekly you will see that this market has been coming down from it's been ranging from an uptrend then you see what started happening here it went up to create a double top a big double top here you could see it here a big double top here so with this alone i should know that this market should be trending way down so once it breaks this level then it has automatically changed to a down trend yeah so let's just watch so but for now since it touched this point at least it should go down way down to this point so let's head back straight to this daily time frame again so now we know what we are looking at so we are looking for a cell now as i said first of all you identify the trend so now we've seen that it should be going down for a little period of time yeah now the next thing you should do is identify the key levels like map out the key levels and I call them the F and R, like frequency and recency. How recent will the market touch that level and how frequent do we keep touching that point? Yeah. And for it to be valid, the candlestick itself must be at the center of the box. Yeah, it must be at the center of the box we get. So this is it now. You see how the market has been playing. So this is the recent one here before this push to the up. So what you will do is draw the box there and the candle should be at the center something like this now this is the candle at the center point here so where is the center point um let me map it out so this is the center here so that's the center of the box here so what we'll be looking for now is wait for the market to do what now this is where the three steps i'm talking about place now this way that particular three steps I'm talking of here is where you will see it in action. Now, the first step here is wait. Since you've identified the trend, you've um, mapped out the key level, yeah, and now you've mapped out the possible entry positions, which is this point. So, what you should do now is first of all, the first step here is wait for a break. Yeah, you heard me right. A break, a full body candle kind of should break past this zone. That is just the first step here. So, now let's watch how it plays. I'm using a replay function on this particular stuff so let's see how it plays out so guys this is it you see that big body candle that just broke up that zone so now the next step here is wait for that retracement yeah another candle should do what come up here retrace back to this point like a break and a retest yeah so you should retrace back to this point remember our entries at this point here at the middle of that box here at the middle and our stop loss should be a little bit above the box and then our tp points are in levels so this point is a possible barrel tp this point is our first tp so let's just map them out 
But if we still see other lows, like if you should create a new low, then we know how to reposition this particular cell that we are about to sell. So now, first step is what? A break. Then the second step is wait for a retracement. You should retest that box. Then the third step would be a particular candlestick pattern here. But then again, without even without um, a candlestick pattern, it still is going to go way down because this um, particular setup with three confluences alone, you are good to go. The first confluence here is a trend line. The second one here is a key level, the F and R. And the third confluence here is you should point, map out your psychological level. You see that there is a psychological level at this point, yeah? There is a possible psychological level at this point, which is 19, 20,000 and so. So then chart pattern also plays in. If we should see a clear doji candle, a, a bullish and curving pattern, who it's also plays. But three out of four, we are good to do. So let's watch how it plays out. You see, it's now, it pushed down again. So now, what you are waiting for is a push back to that zone and we are good to go. Let's watch how it plays out. Boom. You see this particular candle that went way up to trigger us now. If we had used um, our pending orders, so we are already in, in the trade now. If we had used the pending orders, you would have seen that this particular week that went up would have triggered us in. Like the sell limits, like once it broke this point, we would have, we would have um, put it a sell limit at this point. Okay, should sell in case you are not um, available watching the chat. We should sell once it hits that point and you see what that you see what happens market automatically went there at the center of that point and triggered triggered us in so let's watch how it plays out and if you should create a new low would we'll do what try as much as possible to identify those new low. yeah so we are watching how it plays. so now you see what happened now our first TP is already being hit. So now what you should do is now start mapping out a new point here, yeah? a new entry point here. Yeah? Once the market keeps creating a new loop, map them out. Remember the box should be at the center of the box, the candlestick itself. The body of the candlestick should be at the center of the box. So easy, I'm mapping out this point there. Yeah? So, what I'll do is keep extending my line. So let's just watch how it plays out. So let's watch how it plays out. If it should come back down, yeah, goes back to test this point, that's a possible entry point again for us to sell. But if it keeps coming down, creating a new loop, then we'll know how to reposition again. So let's just watch how it plays out. Boom, our TP has got hit in our uh, overall TP just got hit in. This is a one is to 10 risk to reward ratio, which means that if I'm risking 100 here, I should be making 1000. So our overall TP just got hit in. So this particular trade is now complete. So now let's look for a new possible entry. So I'm expecting this is a new low here. Now let me remove this line so the chart don't get messy. So this is a new low where I'm actually expecting this market to come back, retrace back up. Let's put the, that's it. So if the market should continue, should come to this point, then this would be our entry point. The stop loss again below, above the box, sorry, for a downtrend. And our potential TP zone, let me see. Yeah. First TP should be at this point again. And other TPs that this week or this body, you just keep it simple. So yeah, guys. Yeah, we'll just let's watch how it plays. Okay, so that's it. Let's just watch how it plays out. 
if it creates a new low, then we'll go for that new low. Boom. That candle just triggered us in. Boom. Notice, <laughs> you notice something. It's always gets to the center of the box. If you notice, it always gets to the center of the box. So first of all, know how to draw this box accurately, then you are good to go. So that's it. So first of all, Confluence is there, it's a downtrend. Yeah, a trend line is still going down. So apart, you remember, I always say this time with that number that growth do respect so it's more than trend line. It also respects trend lines, yeah. But then again, it respects zones, yeah. It respects key levels, respects key level more than zones. So already this is a downtrend, a break, a retest. Yeah, you should know what break and retest look like. This is a key level, a possible psychological level at this zone, and boom, this is just what I think that remember I said the first step here should be what. A break from that zone where you have you've plotted your key level. Then the second one step is what a retracement, and the third one is our entry, which is maybe we see a candlestick pattern. Then boom. But with this strategy alone, we don't even need uh, candlestick pattern is very important, yeah. But then again, this particular strategy. But the thing here now with candlestick pattern is let me show me let me show you something another example of this particular tree. Let's move it to this point here. So if you noticed. A candlestick pattern happened here. You can see this long <laughs> candlestick here, like a doji. So if you had entered up that point there, your stop loss will now be a little bit big and your risk reward, let's say from the opening of the second candle. And your stop loss, remember, it's above the box. So your TP now would be, this is our TP point, right? Yeah, this point. It's still good. The issue is one is to three, which is you remember this trade was supposed to give us it was a one is to ten, but now see with that particular chart pattern, it's now lessens our um our our reach reward. But then again, there are some chart pattern that does have happen trade off inside this box, and that one is a high probability trade. So apart from that, for now, I'm just showing you guys how we take off trade even without. A possible chart pattern. So now on this second one, I just triggered us in. It's just watch how it basically it hits our, our stop loss. Remember what I do is to say we wait for it at a possible swing high again. So let's watch how it went out. Watch what happened. Our stop loss. Remember, your stop loss must always be above the box, above the box. So now, watch what happened now. You see, the market just went up, hit a uh, stop loss, and now let's watch what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are just watching. It just hit us at first loss of, of the strategy. Let's watch how it plays that. Now, what you should do now is plot other key levels now. Let's see other key levels here. It's a new one here. Where we are expecting. Now, what we should do is now, we expect what? We should be expecting a break of this zone and a second entry. So this one just hit us out. So let's just watch how it plays that. So that's the first loss. First successful entry. This is a one is to ten risk to reward, and this one is a one is to seven. So if we were risking one percent, we just lost one percent, which is out of its profit. Now it's remaining nine percent. So let's just watch how it plays out. So this also let me take off this point, this line. Let's bring it here at the center, and let's watch how it plays out. Boom! We've seen that break again. As a break day. Now our prediction is to do what? First step, a break. Second step, a retracement, and above the box again. Let's push it down. Then our TP points. We should look back at their other key levels. Okay. So if this one works well, we would make one is to seven again. Make back our one percent that we lost and. 
six more on top of it. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So watch what the market is doing. Just created a new key level. <laughs> just what you should do now. This strategy is just as simple as ABC. Keep placing your key levels at potential points where the market might retrace to. But let's just watch because the other one is not still yet invalidated until it breaks this one. Then that's when this one is invalidated. Boom, it's coming, it's coming. So let's shift this point. Let's watch how it plays out once it gets to that key level. So it's coming. Boom, we are in. <laughs> With a week again. So now it has given me a possible TP zone. So my TP shouldn't be beyond this point. So now it's one is to nine. We are in. So one is to nine risk to reward. Me, the one person we lost, we've made it plus eight percent more. If it should hit our TP, so let's just watch how it plays out. So if it should create a new low again, then fine, we do what we map out that new low. Boom! Seems like the market is creating a new low, yeah, a new possible one. Apart from this one, just forget about this one. There's a new one that is happening. Here. Remember, it's recency and frequency. This is the recent one, yeah. So, map out that recent one. So, if we should see a possible entry again, why this one is still running, would hit in for another one again. Remember, it's a downtrend. If I should want to adjust it to fit in with this, it's like this. Possible downtrend, yeah? So, let's just watch how it plays. If it should break this point, comes back to retest of these points, would Enter again for a select step of this point. This one is already invalidated. You can see this point is making the chart look messy. Let's take up this. So let's move this entry to this point here. Where we are expecting a second bounce off. Yeah. So that's the break day. Straight off our TP got hit. So We've had two successful trade, one loss here, one percent. We risk one to get ten here. We lost one, lost one year, remaining nine. We made another nine again off here, made back our one percent. So total, we've made like eighteen percent of the accounts. Yeah, eighteen percent of the account size, if I'm not mistaken. So now we are looking to short. Remember, we don't trade against the trend. I'm looking to shut off this point again because if you should look critically, it's been in the downtrend, so they are trading. So, only when the market starts breaks in each of these highs, start taking off this high, taking them out, then that's when we know that you know, this market is not going down again. It's actually trending way, <laughs> it's, it's changing trend from a downtrend to an uptrend. So, let's just watch. If you should look back, you'll see where we should possible put our TP zone. Yeah, this has been the consolidating period. Let's just watch, um, take off our, um, I know this is not advisable, but let's just put our um, take profit at a possible level. Once we see a candlestick reaction, we would move out. I don't want to make this video a bit long, so let's just... Boom, we are in again. So that particular candlestick, I'll try to put it below the box. So it's still at the center again. So it just got triggered in again. This should be our first TP, this point here. Then our second TP, let's just push how the candlestick plays out. With TP just got hit. So this was what the market is doing. If we should create a new low, fine. So the market just created a new low. Use it here. I 
the center of the box so we'll move this entry so all this particular tp if you should shrink the chart you see why so if i was to put my tp points i would have known when where and where to put them so you see all those key levels you see all these key levels i would have put tape one here to no way and so on and so forth so but for now let's just concentrate more on what we are seeing here so this risk reward would have been bigger than this. So for this one is a one is to six risk reward and boom, it got hit again. So far, we've made like 24% on this trip, this particular account if we are trading it. So let's just watch how it better. It created a new low. And yeah. So now the market just created a new TP zone. Let's extend this it's a downtrend, right? So this is also a recent low here. Yeah? So let's just extend it to this point. So a possible entry would be of that zone. So let's watch how it plays as if we miss. Remember the chart pattern. If this one gets kicked out, then we wait for it at this point here. Yeah? No, not this one. This one is not more valid. It's not at the center of this candle here. This is the recent high here. So let's shift this entry. So as to get, sorry. So as to get the recent high here. This joint should engage the market breaks that point. Remember, it should be at the center of that box. So that's where we would have a possible entry if this one gets missed. If you are still yet to watch that video on break and retest out on my full strategy on gold click this video that is showing up here and you will see so let's see a possible short position of him remember this is our first tp our second tp should be below the box so let's just watch how it plays that first of all first step break second step a retest Third set is either a candlestick pattern. And if you should watch here, you see a candlestick, doji candlestick patterns, but I've not been paying attention to them. You see a candlestick pattern here too, a doji stick. Even apart from that, you see this bullish and curving pattern here. And yeah, still good to go. So I don't know the kind of traders you are, but then again, I'm a bit aggressive with my entries. So that's it. So, boom. Yo, this particular entry just got hit out. Yo, it just got hit that. So we just got hit that. So what we should do now is reposition and wait for it. Already, it should be we are triggered in already. Our stop loss above that box. I'll make it a little bit above the boots here. So I don't get messed up here. So our TP shouldn't be beyond this point. Remember this particular pattern I told you. If it missed this first entry, you are entering the second entry. So it shouldn't be beyond this part, this box here. Yeah? So I'll just keep it a little bit simple. So this is a one is to five history or they just watch how it plays out. So this will be the last example actually. So I just I'm glad that this second pattern happened. So you should watch how it looks like too in a real time trade. But this is actually a replay function. Yeah. Boom. We just got triggered like our tp just got triggered so remember again we lost we lost two from this five or six trade one two three four let's take this one and we lost one year again um we lost one year it got hit out so we also we had how many trades? Um, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we lost two. We um successfully got three to and um, sorry, got four because it's six trade here. Yeah? So one, this is a one is to ten risk to reward. We made ten percent. We lost one year, making it nine. We made nine again. Nine plus nine, eighteen. So we made back our uh. 1% here and 8 more. So that's it here. And that's 18. And we made 6% here. That should be around 24. If I'm not mistaken. 
24 and we lost one person again which 20 we brought it back to 23 percent and here again one is to five which is 28 percent of our account so far so that's it guys on today's video these are the steps i'm talking about those steps um on how to um trade like the other five percent of traders we are the one making trading look complicated yeah but the one making it look a little bit hard and tough but if you should respect some simple rules like your trading plan your strategy rules and your risk management then you should be always be uh above or ahead of your losses yeah so imagine we losing one percent to make ten we losing one percent to make nine to make six to make five even you get so even if you have three losses in a row it shouldn't be a big deal for you because you know that then again that if you should go, if a trade should go in your favor, then you would be way above the market. So, guys, that is it on today's video. And if you are new to this YouTube channel, do as well hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications to get notified whenever I drop more videos like this. See you guys on my next video.